Hello everyone, this is Mike. And Zoe. And today we're going to do episode 28... 7, I think? 28? <laughs> we'll just try, go with 28 for now. Strike 28. Maybe I'm wrong. We'll, we'll find out. Uh, <clears throat> yes, and uh, today we are going to just add a few sounds that we'd forgotten to add, which are a click and an error sound. So when you click correctly, we get the click sound. When we... Uh, click incorrectly, we'll get the error sound, um, and then we should add, we, we said we were going to add uh, uh, rules for how for... the game should know when to end, because we hadn't done th that yet, mm -hmm. right? Which means we're going to add some kind of like warning when somebody has $5,000 and they can cross. Oh yeah, the alarm thingy. Yeah, all of those things. So there's a bit of work to do. And there was some, there was an idea for lol counts. Yeah, well, wait a moment. I don't know if we've got time. Mm. We'll, we'll figure out all of those ideas later. So let's begin with the sounds. So okay. as usual, we're going to go to the audio manager first. And this time we're going to load these files. They are system sounds. So we're going to go back here. Now, these are two sounds, two specific sounds. So we are going to need to add them. So here go sys underscore click. Comma, with myself. sys underscore, oh, I see what you mean, yeah, uh, error. Okay, so let's fix these, hit F2, F2 on them, F2, yes. yeah, it's the same as control R twice, capital S, hit enter, F2, capital S, oh, sys, underscore capital N next turn and these you can just change because they they're not used anywhere so click error. save okay so we got those ready uh, skip turn next turn etc so we're gonna literally copy this paste paste all right so this one is click is this a lowercase c Oopsies, kept. Yeah, and click. And error. And... Yeah, wait, arrow, arrow. I think you press control R, so we got this little run window. Oopsies. Let's focus, please. Error. Error. Save. Save. All right, we're good. So these are done, now we need to load them. We're gonna go here and we're going to copy this. Paste, paste, click. I think it's clicks, actually, let's see. Clicks, yeah, clicks, and then click. Okay, S, slash, click. The other one was error. Copy, paste, error. Pirate one. Error. Okay. Error. And click. click. Save. Save. Alright, that's done. Now we're here. Copy this. Hey, did we just put them in jaw? No, we didn't. Phew. Copy this. Control C. Got it. Paste it. Paste it. Again. Paste it again. Okay. Click. 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 Copy. Copy. Paste. 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 Remember we Paste. went from here to there? Uh, I don't know what you mean. We She's went. pointing at the end of the line oh, and then sorry. pointing to the beginning of the line. We went from the end of the line to the front of the line, like paste. Paste and here. This is important paste because it in because it was easier. Oh. You said. Oh sure, yeah, but when we were doing many, now it's irrelevant. Error. <clears throat> oh, wait. Error. Copy. Paste. When I had many, my eyes were crossing. This is just easy. Paste and paste. Save. Okay, so we got this ready. Now we can just call it. 
uh, and we are gonna have to call them in a point victim largely uh, here it's gonna be all over the place all of these errors here uh, Need clicking. yeah so right here you wanna go uh, I don't know. Wait, I don't know. So the system sounds are on turns usually, mm -hmm. um, and that's that should be a coroutine we've got somewhere. Where is it? There. Change Audio change manager. Sequence. Okay, this one. Copy this, and you paste it here, and change this to error. There it is. Found it. Okay. Copy and paste it here. Paste it here. Paste it here. So we're pasting it everywhere where there's an error. There are more intelligent ways of doing this. Oh, sorry. Right? It's uh, again for this little project. There is not much purpose in us finding much better way of doing better ways of doing this. Hold control again. Okay. One more time, maybe. Yeah, release. Okay, paste. 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 Save. Okay, yeah, because now we need to do all of the correct ones, and it's going to be basically the same boring thing. So let's do it. Uh, I'm inconsistent. I usually do it at the end, all of the sounds. Uh, I guess we're going to do it in the beginning now. So yeah, paste, paste it. Change error to click. Mm, clicks. Sorry. Click. Copy that. Save. Copy. Da 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 da. <laughs> da, 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 da. I uh, pressed a three. What am I doing? Ah, oh, I broke everything. Save. Put a dot. Is this correct? Yes, I think so. Okay. Yeah, this doesn't matter. At least not for now. So that's fine. Now a point tile needs to have the same stuff as well. A point tile. Uh, so we paste it here. This one is an error. Yeah, paste it here. Copy this. Paste it here. Oh. Save. Um, okay. So these are fine. <clears throat> copy the click we're gonna click on this card uh, draw face true sure click on this card yeah save uh, start roll uh, should probably get a click save Draw card should get a click. Save. And play card shouldn't get a click because it's automatic. Okay, let's give it a quick test. Oh, the microphone collapsed. I thought it looked weird. Uh, all right, I've made it much tighter now. Should be all right. Good. All right, so let's see how this clickety click sound sounds. I think it's gonna be very quiet anyway. Now I heard it. Push plus one. <coughs> so I am silly, I should have tried to push plus one on those. Let's see if we're lucky. Did we get another one? Which we are. Maybe. Wait. Push minus two. Okay. Quiet. So you get the error sound, and here you get the correct sound. Okay, it's working. Good. 
So the click is plain, everything's fine. The yeah. error is plain, everything's fine. Um, I mean, there may there the testing would take too long. There's too many other options in which we can have that. It's not that important. Okay, so that's done. Now we said we need to to add the rules for winning and losing the game. So, oof, this game manager is large with loads of things in it. Um, oh well. So what is this draw phase? These are all the phases. So normally what we would do, what I would do, is I would put all sorts of organizers here so I don't lose track of this sort of stuff. Again, for this particular project, we are not going to do it, but... Uh, MC Squ Squared probably has a lot of these. Yes. So here we are going to add a new category and simply uh, start working on it. So go with uh, serialized field. You need a square bracket. Serialize field, close the square bracket, private, int, uh, and call it uh, winning score. Equals 5,000. Yup. I'm pretty sure we had a variable for this. Except this is an int. And you put it as 500 as opposed to 5,000. There it is, target score, you're right. So we had target score save. Uh, there's target score. So I suppose we, we can. We also start score. Which there's you don't the ratios. Care. That's good. Okay. So we should have some kind of thing that uh, applies danger to a player, right? We talked about that. So first of all, we should design how our danger looks like. So let's begin by going here, taking a look, right? So let's take our player from the prefabs and drag him here. There he is right there, okay? Now, we said we were gonna give it some kind of siren or something. Mm -hmm. So, create empty, call it siren. Yeah, hit enter, okay. So now let's go and get a, make a model for this. And Blender's on the wrong. Oh boy, I hope voice recorder doesn't complain. Yeah, well, we'll see. Okay. The last time it didn't complain. Yeah. It's on the wrong screen, remember? People can't see. Good point. Sorry about that. There we go. Okay, so we've got our little car. It's right here. So we need to put a, a little horn on our on our car. We're going to take, I think, what's this? The mine. The mine, mine is pretty decent. I mean, it's a little bit big no but that big isn't a problem yeah let's do this so we're gonna duplicate the mine by going shift d and now i'm gonna a drag it up say here okay that's fine and i'm going to scale it i forgot that it scales at least at the moment based on on that pivot um I haven't used Blender in, in a while, so I feel a bit slow. Okay, here we go. So it's on top of the car. Now we're going to grab these and drag them up. Okay, now it looks like a fez. <laughs> What's a fez? A fez is a hat that some cultures wear. To be frank, I don't actually know which. <clears throat> Wait a moment, this annoys me. Uh, a medium point, thanks. All right, so say about this. Okay, that's not too bad. Looks a bit silly, but should be all right. I'm gonna probably rescale it a little bit, drag it down a little bit. There, yeah, it looks a little bit more round. Let's give it a different. We yeah. can't. Well, let's delete one of those materials. That's. It doesn't matter. Call it siren. We're not importing the materials. So, ah, but I noticed that it has a slot for two, which is an issue. Siren. Yeah. Okay. So this. We need to remove one slot, so and this means that our mine has the same problem. Okay, so let's go to the mine. Yeah, the mine has two slots as well. That's an issue. Okay, there we go. So our little siren is right there. No problem. Now we've saved, and because the file is directly in our assets, it should have already saved. So siren, it's right here, and we're going to add a component, type filter, Mesh filter, add a component, renderer, mesh renderer. Okay, which mesh? Siren, 
There it is. It's on the back, and it's pink. I'm surprised by that. Wait a second. Control A. Uh, rotation and scale. Location. Save. Uh, it may be different because it should depend on the model, maybe, I guess. Yeah, the model is rotated. That's the issue. So, rotation 270. Right? And now... Mm. Okay, if you rotate it on the y-axis, you're fine. Okay, we're good. So there's the siren. Now we're gonna add a few lights on them on it, and let's see how that works out. Let's put a material on it. Uh, sure. Uh, it should be probably the same material as the car, or maybe the same material as the wheels. Yeah, let's be cheap here. So player, car wheels, there. How does it look like from the game? It's tiny, it's fine. Okay, now siren, create light, spotlight. Okay. So now we're gonna move the spotlight up here to about 1.5, that's too high. It's still 1.3, there, that's good. Now we need to rotate it on the Z axis. No, wrong. Um, yeah, the issue here is that this is set to global, and it's set it to local, and now I'll know, on the y-axis. That's perfect. That's just fine. It needs to point on the ground around the car. So, minus 120 seems a pretty good thing. Spot angle, we can enlarge it. I wouldn't make it too large, let's say 40 degrees. And uh, for the intensity, we're going to increase it there. It's brighter now. Say 10. There we go. How does this look in game? Not bad. And now, so let's name this Should one. Should we make spot. it facing the direction that the car is facing? You'll see. Duplicate spotlight zero. Oh, we're, so we're going to make them stick out. Rename it to one. Wait, done. So Think this is a zero. This is a one. This, this should be 120. Yes. Okay. Uh, so we're going to make that spin. And now what we can do is we can do this. It's gonna go wee 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 wee, right? And when it's not, the lights will just be off. Yeah, exactly. And we can uh, basically create an I enumerator that does it while true, so it keeps on going forever. Mm -hmm. um, and Until it becomes wild false and they lose things. Yeah, well, they simply go away, right? Mm -hmm. So the siren will go away. Um, so there's quite a few animations we're gonna have to make for this. Um, there. Yeah, but this seems pretty good. Now the lights, I'm not too happy that they are the same. The, this color, they should be the same color as the player, maybe. Uh, so let's see. There, something like that. All right. And let's see how this looks like in game. Yeah, I think this is pretty good. It's shining onto the tile and turning the tile yellow. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, sounds good. So that's good. So we got the siren on the player. Apply. Now, the siren is going to start off apply. Okay. And now we're going to have to do quite a few things on the player. So, right here. And we are going to create a new... Uh, there's quite a few objects we need to create. So, let's go with private. Transform. Ah, tell you what, tell you what, tell you what, tell you what. No, let's let's be a little bit more, let's be more cleverer now. So this is a good example, right? We could have simply done everything in the player, made the player larger and larger and larger, but it's not necessarily a good idea. So we might as well create a new script that is specifically designed for our for our sirens, right? Yeah. So we're gonna we go here. We have a lot of scripts in here. That's nothing. Uh, create pl player siren. Well, I think it's more than any we had. Siren. Yeah, that's fine. The little games that you and I make, but big yeah. games have like millions of these. Uh, okay, I'm exaggerating by saying millions, but enough. So, player siren. Uh, da, 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 da. Where do we go? We go to our prefab, we go to a player, we go to the siren, and we're going to add a component. To, oh, it's already there. That's good enough for me. I'm going to move it all the way to the top. I like my scripts at the top so I can see them. Now, uh, my buddy Visual Studio will complain. We reload the solution, done, and now we can go back to the script and open, open it. Player, there it is. Okay, none of this Play. stuff. 
Okay, save. We and need this to uh, be to be a uh, uh, what's it called? A, a sing a singleton, right? What? Why? Because we need to call it. What? That Punches makes no rabbit. sense. No. Do you, would you only have one siren on all of the scene in all of the scene? No. Every player would have one. So we have a singleton already. It's the game manager. That's and it. the audio. And manager. the audio manager. Anyway, <laughs> let's go. Private uh, player siren. This is the player. I know. Private player siren. P.S. So that's how we we'll call things. Yes, from the player. And uh, let's let's just copy this. Paste it here. P.S. It's not under model, so we don't actually. It's under siren, so siren, and it's a player siren. Save. Okay, so we're gonna begin with uh, the siren and decide what to do with it. So private light array uh, spotlights. Do I have a capital? I guess. Uh, I don't. Th think so. I think it's one word only, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I think so. Semicolon. Okay, save. So we got a spotlight. Um, what's the size that we we keep it when it's when it's unfolded? It should be one one one. But just check it. Uh, siren. Yeah, it's one one one. Okay, good. Um, so I'm thinking there should be some kind of activation routine some kind of deactivation routine and i've just noticed something we've got a problem because if we do it the way we did it uh there's going to be an issue because the siren is off so the script is going to be off and that's not good uh what we're going to do is we're going to put the stuff under the model so create empty okay type model, model. Whoa, Hold shift, release, drag these in to the model, and shouldn't we make a prefab? Oh, I forgot. Uh, wait, it's in Uni the player. Unity magical stuff. Yeah. Okay, now copy component, paste component is new. Copy component, paste, paste component, component is, is new. new. And now we can delete this component, uh, remove component, and remove this component. Okay, so now the siren only has the siren, and the model then does things. So that's good. Um, here, let's go with uh, public void setup. Open close, open squiggly, save. Copy, paste, equals. Uh, let's know. Let's be clever about this. Um, we are gonna do this. We're gonna do transform dot find open round quote model no quote model quote close dot get components in children no plural further down further further there open of type light open close round well first close type then open close round semicolon okay so this is already so wait, correct we're going to the bottle then we're going to the children and, and finding, finding all, of the, lights all of the lights and populating the array with them. That's it. So now we got the spotlights and uh, we're going to need all sorts of values. Like, for example, um, let's see. So our spotlight here. Uh, now, what we care about in particular, I think, is when they come out, it should probably be the range. Yes. What does so the range do? Range is how far the light goes. At zero, it's nowhere. And at 10 is where we want it to go. It actually probably goes quite a bit further. 
I don't know how far, but quite a bit. Yeah, it goes there, right? But it's all relative because it, it kind of loses loses strength. Whoops. Uh, what was this again? 40, I think. It loses strength as, as it goes, right? So you see at this range, theoretically, it hits the ground, but it's already super weak. Right? Anyway, um, mm, well, the small Yeah, so the range, we're going to go default of, uh, like, target is 10, starting is 0, uh, and that's how we're going to hide them, right? We're going to hide them, uh, and then we're going to make the, the siren itself the model itself disappear by going to a size of zero and just vanishing. Okay? Okay. So uh, let's write all of these. So open square bracket, serialized field, close square bracket, and now you go private, uh, float, and go light intensities. Wait, oh, yeah. intense. Did I spell it correctly? Yeah, yeah it's good. It's really and good. I'm pretty sure this has to be an error, right? Yes. Good call. Copy this. <laughs> Paste it here. Uh, so, wait a moment. No, I'm silly. Light intensity we're not going to play around with is loud light ranges. So, put ranges. Yeah. Now change. Ranges. The... Yeah, remove one. Uh, vector 3. Will we do a LARP? We will do LARPs all over the place. Uh, this one is going to be uh, model scales. Oh, my bad. Scales. Save. Okay, so model scales, light intensities. Um, light ranges. Light ranges, sure. And uh, is this enough? Uh, well, we're going to need rotation speed. So copy this. Paste it here mm -hmm. and remove the array and go rotation speed. Save. Okay. Uh, oh, one more thing. I think it's quite important. We need to take a look at the sirens rotated. The model isn't perfect, which means if we rotate the model on Y, it's going to be wrong. We need to rotate the model on Z. Okay. Okay. So that's the one thing we need to remember. Okay, so rotation speed, uh, give it a default value of, which now is not going to apply, but that's fine. Give it a default value of, say, 5. Save. All right, anything else? Um, I don't think so. Setup is just to get them to work, and we're going to have to turn them off. Anyway, so here, make a public void. Turn on off. Turn on off. Open round. Boo. Uh, on off. Yeah, the second one is capital. Comma. Boo. Insta. Eh? Insta equals false. It's insta. Close, I'll explain. Close round. Open squiggly. So Insta is my short version for instantaneous. Oh. So it happens oh, immediately. That? Okay. Okay. All right. So um, let's see. Mm. We need a private coroutine. Call it core underscore uh, siren, I guess. Semicolon. Save. Okay, and we're gonna need an I enumerator. Yeah, uh, call it siren. Open close. Actually, no. It's going to need. Hmm. I'm I'm thinking for a moment. Uh. Is it going to need something? Well, we kind of need two coroutines: one to start, one to stop, uh, one to start and stop, and one to uh, just carry on. But we could use the one, the same one. Yeah, I don't know that I like it. Let's do a few. No, but we can still use the same object for it. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, so just 
yeah, leave it like this for now. Sorry, I'm thinking. Okay, save. No, so it shuts up. Let's go yield return. You do it. Yield return null. Semicolon. Okay, so now it doesn't give you an error anymore. Uh, all right, so turn on off, and obviously this is gonna be used to 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 determine whether it needs to be turned on or off. Uh, and this one needs to be used to determine if the thing happens immediately. Now we are obviously going to do it immediately when we start. So we're going to say turn on off. There it is. Whoa. Yes. Turn on off. False. False. Comma true. We're going to turn it on as soon as the game starts? No. We're going to turn them off immediately. Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's see. Uh, it depends on how we do all this. There's so many options. Uh, let's do it the simplest way possible. So we are going to say... No, we can't just do it the simplest way possible, can we? I don't think so. So let's create a couple of private variables that we're going to need for the, for the core team. So private and go vector3 s scale semicolon private vector3 that means start scale I'm guessing yeah e scale semicolon private vector3 uh, what am I saying? private float huh this one's actually fairly interesting. Um, we're going to need one more here. Uh, current range. Semicolon. Okay. Copy this. Paste it. Paste it. Change this to S range. E range. Save. Okay. Now here is we're going to just immediately pick all of the ones so then Siren can do it on its own. Nice and easy. Uh, this one is going to require a bool. Go bool. So many bulls. On off. Save. On off. So there. Yeah, that's good. All right. So in here, we're going to have to make the decisions about the S scale, E scale, all of these things. Uh, so... What you're going to do is you're going to go if on off. That's not if. If on off. On off. Close. Open. Enter. Enter. Close. Else. Open. Enter. Enter. Close. Not that bracket. This bracket. Save. Okay. And now here you go. S scale equals. Uh, I just realized we need something. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, right here, create a private transform. Model. Semicolon. Copy paste cut equals paste semicolon copy yeah, it's fine we'll fix it copy paste for some reason shift and control are a proper problem for you one is up one is down that's it uh okay model blah blah, blah done okay s scale equals model dot local scale Semicolon. Save. Actually, this one is independent, so cut this. Paste it here. Copy S range. Paste it here. Equals current range. Semicolon. Save. Okay, now uh, here you go with E scale. Equals model scales 1. Close. Close to the semicolon yeah, statement. Now, E range. Semicolon. Uh, 
press control E range equals light ranges one. Semicolon. Copy both of these. Paste here. Save. Um all right, so now we know all of the starts and all of the ends. Uh, the current range is interesting. Hey, these are the same. What? Why did we make these the same? Uh, yeah, because I'm silly. Zero here and zero here. No, they're not the same. Quite different, in fact. Yeah. If Insta... If Insta... Close. Open, enter, enter, save. Um, and here you're going to say the following. So you go model dot enable dot uh, try set active active. Okay. Uh, dot game object dot set active. Open round on off. Close. Semicolon. Save. Now another thing we're gonna do is we're gonna say um, for open int i equals you know the drill i lower than lights spotlights that's what we call them. Try again. Spotlight. There, spotlights dot length i plus plus. Okay, sorry. So we're gonna go through the lights and we're gonna give them the end range, right? So spotlights copy paste i dot range equals e range. Semicolon. Current range equals E range. Semicolon. Save. Okay, and now the last thing we still need to do is model dot local scale equals E scale. Okay, so let's create a void here and call it stop siren. Open close. Sirev. Sirev, much better. With siren. Okay. Open close. Oh, yeah. And here we're going to do our usual coroutine test. So copy this. If paste is not null. Close. A stop coroutine, open, paste, close, semicolon, done, save. Okay, and copy stop siren, paste it here, semicolon, save. All right, else, open, enter, enter, close. All right, so save. Now here's the deal, right? If we are instantaneously making these changes, then we want to make them right away and not have anything to do with our coroutine. That's basically the deal. If we instead want to make them slowly by using the coroutine, then we're going to have to uh, call it now. But before we call it, we stop it. So let's paste, actually cut this stop siren, put it here because it applies to both. So save. All right. Now uh, here, all we're going to do is we're going to simply call the coroutine and feed it on off. That's it. Okay. So go uh, with... Uh, copy this, paste it here, equals start coroutine. Yeah. Why do you have to open assign it? Siren. Because that way we can cancel it out, uh, close it if, if, if we don't need it anymore. On off, hit it on off. Close, close, semicolon. All right, now even the coroutine knows on off and we are rolling. So, for uh, on off, it will depend on whether we need to turn on or not. So 
I think we need to check right away. So we go if on off else else save. Okay, so if we're turning on, the first thing we need to do is we need to go to the maximum thing. And there's another thing that we also need to do, and I just realized that we need to reset the rotation every time we we make the thing disappear. Uh, so we're going to say uh, model dot local rotation equals quaternion dot identity equals quaternion dot identity. Semicolon. Yay, Windows key this time. We improve it. Identity. Semicolon. Save. At least it's not like a function I called. I don't know how you do that. Uh, yeah, control something. It will, Windows key is control W, I think. Let's see. No. Control X? No, I don't know. There's, this Windows key is something. I don't remember what. You just press Control Z, not Control X. I press Control W and then Control Z. Oh, ah, yeah, good point. But Control X should open. No, that's Windows X. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Control X should be cut. Anyway, so don't remember where I was. Right here. All right. If on off, brilliant. So here we are going to go from the starting scale. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to display our little siren before we turn on the lights. Okay, so that's the thing we will do. I want to be just there the whole time, just sitting on top of the car and minding its own business until somebody gets enough money. No, I think it's much cooler if it pops up when the time comes. Mm, okay. Okay, so we're going to do this. We're going to create, well, right outside here, create a float passing time. Here we come. Or a fault. <laughs> Float passing time. Here we go with the passing times again. Semicolon. Okay. Now give it a passing time equals zero. Actually, no. Give it equal zero right here because we're gonna need it to start at zero anyway. So equals zero f. Save. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna say while open passing time lower than one f. Save. Uh, there should be the time to build time now, right? Wait a moment. So if we started on off, we want to reset that rotation again. Yeah. Well, we don't know, actually. Not necessarily. No, let's leave it as it is. Plus, plus equals time to delta time. And correct. Time dot delta time. Time we go. No speeds. All right, and here, uh, cut this, paste it here, wait for second, new, wait for seconds. Open round, time to delta, passing time. No, um, silly, time to delta time. Silly daddy. I think, by the way, there's a shortcut for this, which is, I think, wait for end of frame or something like that. Anyway, whatever, we can go with this. So, pass in time, blah, blah, blah. okay, there it is. So we're waiting and here is where we do all of our lovely lerps. So we are gonna begin by lerping the, should we just lerp Wait a minute, you put the, the, yield, blah, 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 the yield return return before the else. What else? What? That else. Obviously, it's gonna have its own yield return there. So, uh, blah, blah, blah. You'll re listen, yield return just means I'm going to wait for a bit. That's it. Oh. Uh, well, yield return, you wait for seconds means that. So, right, let's uh, let's start uh, lerping. So we're going to say model.localScale equals, equals vector3.lerp. Open round, uh, S scale, comma, E scale, E scale, I should know this. comma, and I forgot something. Get Say, curve? No, where we both need a curve and a speed. So, yeah, let's. How are you just passing time? 
yeah no but then it means we get a default speed and it's not really that cool okay so copy this paste paste so rotation speed change this from rotation to uh, appear which will always obviously apply to disappear copy it type curve underscore paste capital A remove the default value animation curve save okay so there it is uh, appear speed yes so copy appear speed pay space 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 paste now okay so now here you go curve underscore no it's already there Do evaluate passing time i meant for the evaluate this speedy thing close close semi save all right so that's for this local scale now let's copy all of this paste it here and i forgot we need a loop so copy this oh. yay <laughs> it's much better if you make the same mistakes a hundred times. All right, range, blah, 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 blah. cut this. Paste I'm it actually here. cut it. All right, save. Now, obviously, it's wrong because it's not a vector. So, math f. And change it to s range. Uh, I have a better idea. Much better idea. And I actually forgot that, so we need to do that. Copy current range. That's why we created current range in the first place. Paste it here. Equals. Cut this. Paste it here. And change this to E range. Copy current range. Paste it here. Semicolon. Save. All right. So this is done. Now, one may be inclined to believe that this is where this is finished, but it isn't. Because this is where the light turns on and then it needs to stay on. So here we're gonna say while true. While true. Open round. True. True. Close round. Open. Close. Save. Alright, now wait a moment. I need to think this through because we need to rotate around the Z axis uh, forever. And I know there's loads of functions that allow us to do this. I don't know. So let's try this. Transform model dot lo, dot model dot local rotation. Oh. Dot so local rotation. Local rotation. Uh, equals. No, wait, 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 wait. I think there's others. So type rotate. Okay, rotate around local. Is this deprecated? Yes. What does it say instead? Rotate around. Uh -huh. Rotates the transform about axis passing through point in world coordinates by angle. Ah, what? <laughs> <laughs> Rotate. Is this one? Yes. Okay, Where? with five overloads. Let's see what overloads it got. Okay, so rotate Euler angles, axis float angle, like this one. This one's good. Um, uh, rotation of Euler angles around the z axis. In the space? Relative to, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I think, okay, so the separate angles, axis, angle, relative to. I like that. This one is the one we're going to go with. Okay, so here you type vector 3 dot forward. Remember, it's a z-axis we need to rotate around. Yep. We may go backward later if we prefer it. Uh, angle is, uh, give it the rotation speed which is this copy paste it here now we need to time scale it so we're going to multiply by time dot delta time yeah comma and this one is this overload so type space yeah dot What's a space self What's a space? Plus, if it's local or world mm. we want to rotate locally so model rotate etc. Now we need to copy the return and paste it here. So we will basically keep on spinning. Every frame will just spin. 
Actually, I don't even know if we need this. Have we put when the siren will come on? No, I mean, yeah, you need to call, uh, turn on off. Oh, yeah, and turn on off has the 500 thing. Um, no, it doesn't, no, it doesn't, no, it doesn't. What are you talking we about? We still need to add the limit. Oh, no, that's that's a ga stuff. that's a rule. That's got nothing to do with this. Oh. So now you're only preparing that the siren can turn on and stays on. That's it. I just remembered something. We forgot in the setup that we need to tell it which player this is for. So we're going to need an int player ID. Yeah, save. And for this one, we're going to need to apply colors to the spotlights. So copy this, paste it here, color equals, and this one is in game manager, I think. So go to game manager dot script dot color. Player color, I'm pretty sure. Player colors, open square bracket, player ID. No ceramic there. Save. All right. So there it is. The color is assigned right at start. That's good. And then they are turned off immediately, which is perfect. Now, uh, else. All right. Let's so let's work with the negative. So let's just copy all of this. Paste it here. And passing time. Blah blah blah. Model local scale. It should be exactly the same here. Actually, now that I think about it. It's a good point. Yeah, this will be exactly the same, but it needs to turn off. All right, so we're going to change a thing. Paste this here, okay, because it works for both this and the other. Yes, I like this. And here, what you need to say now is it needs to save. It needs to be deactivated at the end, which is this. And we need to remember to turn it on. So copy this, paste it here, and set active on off actually now that I think about it belongs here yes set active on off no because this one depends on no I'm talking rubbish this one only happens if you are uh, if if it's instantaneous for for the turning off for the turning on yeah, we're going to move it on the other side. Okay, save. Save. Okay. So, this... No, we're not. Oh, your daddy's dumb. Okay, paste it here again. Save. Okay, so paste it here. Save. This is a bit redundant, but it'll be okay. Like, this could simply be a false, and this could simply be a true, and this could simply be a false. And that's it. Um... Let me think. So here they turn off, right? Basically, after the animation of them going away, they, they actually turn off the entire object. And here it needs to stay on, but that means it needs to be turned on before we turn it on. So that's fine. Uh, oh, yeah, no, this is stupid. This is dumb right here. Uh, paste it here. Now it's better. Save. If Insta, if not Insta. Okay, that's good. Yeah, because it needs to be turned on for sure when it goes on, whether it's instantaneous or otherwise. Okay, so that should be done. So our sirens should now be cool. Save. And uh, now let's go to the game manager and do that. So we are going to have to create some kind of test for, for that. Uh, and I guess it's under events. Yeah, so let's go here and go, where do we put it? Every time the score changes, which is very, very often. Uh, do we have anything to do with score? Update score texts, this one. Uh, so yeah, whenever that happens, we're going to have to... Speaking of format, shouldn't we format this? It's going out the page. Okay, sure. Sounds like a waste of time, but let's do it. Lap, uh, line break, save. That's better. Uh, if you say so. <laughs> I find it just as confusing to read, but that's okay. So anyway, well, uh, who cares? Uh, so here, create a void. 
uh, check winning scores. Scores. Open, close. Yeah, sure. Okay, I'm save. A bunch of things before I do that. Yeah, and here we're gonna say for int i. But wait, we we probably have this loop somewhere. Right here. Copy this. Paste it. And enter and enter close. Close. Shift. Thanks. Save. Sorry, guys, but the patience of a father does run, run, run a little thin every now and then. All right. <clears throat> so we've got the for loop now. What we need to do is we need to check if the player's score is higher than the higher or equal to the player winning score, right? Mm -hmm. So go if uh, list of players. I think you have it. List players. Yes. Uh, list players and uh, uh, square bracket I. Yeah. There. I. I. Not that I. I. Dot score. Yeah. Higher or equals to. Um, mm, that's interesting. Higher or equals to uh, 5,000. Actually, no, no, I've changed my mind completely. Save. Let's go to, is that a private or is it a public? It needs to be public. Yeah, change this to public. Okay, I finally figured this out. <laughs> uh, go to your player and here when we change score, much better. All right, so right here, yeah, because update score text is kind of stupid. Uh, so go if round score higher or equal and uh, what are we gonna do uh, then game manager dot script you should know you should know this I think Does it's something like score just start it. typing score and you'll find it target score that's, the one. that's the one. close round open close now wait a moment save uh, the issue here is that we have no way of knowing if our player siren is active or not, which means we need a public bool right here. Public bool. Okay, public. There it is. Bool. Bool. Is active. Is active. There you go. Kind of sounds like a question in itself. Copy. Okay, copy. Turn on off. Uh, and right at the end of all of this, Paste it equals on off. Semicolon. You have caps lock on. Do I? Yes. Save. All right. So ba 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 ba. All right. And now we need to check if it's if it's active and it's public, so we can reach it from the player. Um, here we need to do if open round ps. I think you call it dot is active. Close, open squiggly, enter, enter, close squiggly. Put a not right here. PS dot, turn on off, open bracket, true. Close, semicolon, save. Copy all of this, put an else here. Open, close, paste, false. There. So let's recap this. If the score is higher than the target score and our siren is not active, activate the siren. Otherwise, if the siren is, is active, active, so otherwise rather, if the score isn't higher than that and the siren is active, then turn off turn the siren. It off. Okay. So the players are going to manage this on their own, which is quite nice. Right? And it should work even when you're gifted score or any crazy things like that. So save. And it's almost time to stop, so let's test this. Yeah, no, wait a moment. We can't. Uh, we need the object and we need to give it some values. So oh, yeah, yeah, rotation yeah. speed, we can try it with five. Appear speed, five, we can try. Size, 
model scales needs two. The second one is one, one, one. The first one is zero, zero, zero. Light ranges, we need two. The first one's zero, the second one's 10. Uh, the curve for appear, disappear. Uh, let's just make a double ease, I guess. Though I think I would like some bouncy bouncy. So let's Dying. do this. Let's do this. Did we make that one? I made it ages ago, probably in some other project or something. Okay, so apply and player. Now, the problem is testing this is quite complicated. So what we're going to do instead is we are going to give ourselves a um, a bit of a leg up by lowering that amount. The target score. Yeah, so let's put it on... Uh, 600. Yeah, good call. 600 should be okay. And then when we... Because it's just 100 more than the normal amount. Yeah. So... Oh, we uh, forgot to dump that player. Right, you're right. No, we didn't. Eh? No, we didn't. It's a little odd, but all of them seem like they're on. So let's go and take a look. All right, so there's this... Eh? Thanks. That's really weird how Unity sometimes goes like, yeah, I don't care, man, I'm gonna do crazy things that make no sense. Uh, maybe there's something down there, but I doubt it. So there's the siren. Uh, let's take a look at the lights, because it doesn't look like... Eh? Why are they yellow? Why is the setup... Oh, because we forgot to set them up. That's the issue. Ah, stupid. Okay, where's the player setup? It's right here. That must be why so. nothing's working. PS dot setup. Open round. Wait. Oh, I forgot. It's it needs ID. it needs the ID. So fit it ID. Or car ID. Even better, just go car ID. Yeah, close round, semicolon. Alright. Now that, that should, should work. work. Without any crazy things. Yes. Okay, all the cars are there and they don't have the lights on. And so. we need to put that six hundred back. Yeah, I'm really this. annoyed at the maximize on play now, so I will leave it like this. So game manager, six, oops, I had changed it before starting the game. So that's something we need to be careful about. And we might as well change the card that we're going to get. So we're absolutely sure we're going to get that. So let's go gain 250. Okay. So let's roll. Whatever we get, we get. Ta -ta -ta. Okay. So now... The light is on, and as you can see, it's, it's rotating extremely slow. slowly. That's fine, no problem. So let's go to the siren and change the rotation speed to 25. Still too slow. I want it super fast. That is good. Yeah, no, that's broken. It's a thousand. That's also broken for sure. 50. Uh, maybe not, actually. 2,000? That's too much. <laughs> Way too much. 1,000. Because it's time scale, that's too much still. Let's do 500. What's our limit then? Yeah, that's pretty good, but I do feel like the lights should be like sort of turning on and off and stuff. I don't know. Let's see. What would happen if one of the lights did this? No, no, that's the wrong one. Uh, let's see the range. What do you say? Doesn't look very good. So you prefer it if it's static? I prefer it if it's just spinning normally like that. Okay. And then it goes, and now we need to test him like losing a lot. Yeah, well, exactly. So uh, let's test steel. So let's go to the game. Steal the most thing there is. Whatever, it doesn't matter. 500 is enough. So yeah. steal 500. And now the overtake itself should actually make him fly and let's see how the siren looks like when you're flying because i think it's gonna be pretty weird yeah thought so. but it's okay and now there's two sirens on. yeah that's okay that's just fine that's the other siren it's mm. colored yellow it's working fine and it's not spinning the as fast so steel from red yeah it works and it went small too yeah and we need to, now we need to do two things change the start change the Target score back to normal. And, and the rotation speed to 500. But wait a moment. I still want to test how we would be like if red gets the siren again. Okay. So the next card is going to be gift 500. Gift, sure, gift 1000. I don't care. <laughs> gift uh, 1000. Discard. 
for a five hundred person, which is blue. Good world. Okay. Works just fine. Yep. Now the blue went away, and red came back. Perfect. So we're now, good. We gotta change some things though. Yes. All right. So this one goes back to five thousand, and in our player, uh, in the siren. Uh, rotation speed is 500. Good. That's it. We made this up. Yes, it's pretty good. Um, do you think we should have some kind of siren sound for when the siren comes on? Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, so yeah. it. It shouldn't stay there. Sound? There's just a few times and then yeah. it goes. Yeah, okay. We'll take a look. We'll look into that. Because uh, people go, oh no, the siren's on. Next time. So right now, the player recognizes when the player's about to win, but the game still doesn't recognize when you're crossing the line with enough points. So we will. We should do that. Actually, I think we can do that really quickly right now, um, which would be uh, where is pass start. Uh, Probably on the game manager. Lap. Did be... we change the variable to for the rotation to 500? Yes, I just did. Good. Okay, so. Um, okay, so overtake, change to discard phase. No, none of these, but let's evaluate the landing tile. Land start, that's not the one. Where is the whole lapping thing? It's in the player. Increment lap. Increment lap, yeah, but who calls it? Hit control F. That's what I want. Okay. Get increment time. lap, increment lap plus one. That's D1. And uh, cross start, that's where you get the score. And that's where the decision needs to be made. So. Um, now we're going to put some text, probably. Void. Space, void. Test end game. Open round. Close round. Actually, it's not a void, it's a bool. Yeah. And here you're gonna say if uh wait, it needs uh, it needs some information. So here you're gonna say uh we probably need an ID. Uh yeah, let's do that. So go int player ID. Uh, and open round and you go uh, if um, uh, wait a second okay yeah no that, that'll be fine I was just checking something so if uh, list of players player ID square bracket player ID close square bracket uh, dot score higher or equal higher or equal target score close uh, then we win and let's go debug dot log no we can add some text uh sure we go can use the score to add some stick to, to add some text sure but we're not gonna do it now I'm just preparing it for next time oh. okay so actually do we need it to be bool we don't need it to be pulled. Change it to avoid. Yeah. And here go debug.log. Open round. And go... Uh, copy all of this. Actually, no, 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 no. My bad. Uh, player caller names, square bracket player ID close uh, plus quote quote space has one quote semicolon uh, close round semicolon save okay so copy test end game paste it here yep Open round, player ID. <laughs> Close. So, sorry, the control button goes. Yeah, it's a very hard. You know how long I've had this keyboard? How long? For like 11 years. Well. Yeah. It goes. Ka -tang! 
yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a bit, it's a bit, you know, it's a bit. But it's got a history for me. I used to have this keyboard when I used to work at Rockstar. Mm. Then they were throwing them away, and I, took I took it from the bin. You took it from the bin. Yes, so it's my Rockstar keyboard. Your Rockstar It's a keyboard. long, long time ago. Yes. Okay, so this is fine. Uh, all right, so let's quickly test this. So we are going to hit play. We're going to put 600 to uh, to cross. Okay. And and uh, what we are going to do is um, uh, make the car. So for now, we're simply going to going to roll uh, at least once all the way around. Uh, so let's go to 62, no 63, and. Uh, uh, let's roll it. But how are you having no points? Oh, tell you what it will do. Black will go too. So he'll cross it, get pushed backwards, land in the I'm, I'm actually curious because there's so many... Possible bugs? Yeah. There's at least one that I can imagine. So, when our car lands in front I received an email so we got the notification uh, when our car my car lands in front and then is pushed backwards it's gonna be ready to go across again uh, it shouldn't work anyway okay so now we're ready to win because we have 3000 right uh, let's push back okay that's good now we're gonna change so that the turns go backwards okay okay so with reverse, reverse turn, turn. And we're gonna put it on a two or something. So it doesn't go very far. Turns reversed. Okay, red. Now red needs to roll something like a one, two, three, four. So it would need to roll a 66. Let's roll a 68 just to be sure. 687, we'll be here for a day. Okay, so let's roll it. Now you shouldn't win when you cross the line now. Because you just lost a lap, practically speaking. And then when you cross it again. Yeah, when you cross it the next time. Oh, look, red has won. Wait, wait, wait. At some point we got that red has won. That's bad. So let's do it again. I wasn't paying attention. Sorry, guys. Uh, okay, so roll a. We got six, it when he crossed. Three. Right, so we got the score first and then crossed. Interesting point. I already know where the bug is. At least. Um, cut this. Paste it here. Controls issues again. Save. It no. It's it's in the it's in the order. We increase the score first, and then we tested the end game. We're not gonna do it that way. We're gonna do it the other way around, and now it should be fine. Uh, so okay. okay. So press game again. I'm fairly confident it'll work now, but you know, just testing. Yep. So, ta ta ta, 63 we said. Yes. And then we also wanted a push backwards by, by three, two. whatever. It was two. It's He's gonna break down then. Good point. That's actually not nice. There, he's going for a trip! Bye! With his infinite gears. He's playing Rocket League. <laughs> got infinite gears. <laughs> I may be wrong, by the way, in that, but because I never played with sounds, mm. yeah, so I don't actually know. But a few times that I've played it with the sounds, I was going like, this card doesn't work normal. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like it's got infinite gears, which makes sense because in that game you're like sort of super speedy all the time. So, okay, let's Sorry, go. He's making a mess. No, two. Reverse turn. Okay, so we didn't get the debug. Which is good. Which is good. Turns reversed. Okay, now 68. I don't care about what you draw. It's gonna be a very patient to all this. Roll, roll, roll your boat. That's roll, not roll. goes all crazy when he turns. <laughs> oh, I know what's going on with that siren. We're gonna change the siren's rotation 
from being local to being world. And then it'll look fine. Look at one. Okay, so that worked exactly correctly. Uh, quick fix. So in Player Siren, I really like this. Change self to world. There, done. Now we test the curve. And uh, pretty easy. Uh, Just yeah, pass the all, mine. All, all we'll do is change it to immediately to 500. Let's see what happens. You won. Oh, I actually want to do it when the game is playing. Okay, give it a 68. No, 63. Actually, this may not work because. No, it's not gonna work. Uh, but I'm gonna leave it on 500 and just roll a 2, and then it should work. If it doesn't, we're just gonna roll everyone on a 2. That's it. <laughs> Whoa, okay, it's rotating on the z-axis now, which, because it's world, it, <laughs> it's funny, but it's not oil. <laughs> okay, so drag the player in, let's take a look. The whole thing is rotating on the z-axis. Yeah, that's, that, that's fine. So, instead of local, we're going to change to world, and yeah, we need to rotate on the y-axis on the world. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, let's hope this is actually going to work. Because otherwise we would need to set the thing. Anyway, it wouldn't be a problem, but change this to up. Save. Making minor fixes in there. Making minor fixes. Okay, now I'm lazy to make the change all the time, so I'm going to take the risk. Actually, it may even work right away, which would be very nice. Yes, it does. All of them are shiny. All of them are shiny, but some of them are invisible, which is a bit odd. I, I think they're rotating the wrong direction. No, they're fine, but somehow they're not. I uh, I think it's not working with the color we picked for the ground. So if we change the board color to white, no, that won't work. To black. Sure, let's see if it's black for now. What does it look like? Pretty good. Somehow those lights aren't appearing. Oh, I know. I know, I know. Wait a second. Edit, project settings. Graphics, quality, graphics, quality, graphics, quality, graphic, quality, quality, quality. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I know the, the 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 pixel light count four, so we want. Let's make sixteen. <laughs> it's gonna be massive. Yeah, so. Da, 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 da. There we go. It looks pretty good black too. Yeah, well, okay, so let's go with black for now. And uh, now we're just going to it looks very pretty, I think. roll a 64 so we can see how it looks like in the curves, right? Okay. Whoever it is, it's blue. It's blue. Blue is going to go away from the beautiful sign spinning. Are they spinning? No, it still looks weird. Page? Still looks weird. <laughs> it's really <laughs> it looks weirder. I think it looks very, very similarly weird. So our only option in this case will be to um, to make it not a child, or the rotate function just won't do for this. Yeah, I think so. I think we need to go with the uh, with alert for local rotation. Uh, the issue with that is that you need a number that can constantly goes up, and uh, with that issue, it means we're gonna need some kind of passing time again, and then we need to reset it to zero when we reach zero. So we are gonna do exactly that. Ready? Okay, this is not gonna take too long. So copy. Pa passing time equals zero. Uh, paste it here. Yeah. Okay. And now uh, instead of rotate, change this to rotation, not local rotation, just rotation. Okay. Equals quaternion dot. Uh, no. Quaternion dot Euler. 
open new vector three. Actually, wait a second. I'm lazy. Let's not do that. Uh, go vector three dot up times. Not hashtag. It's here. So space. And there. Uh, okay, so times. We need to multiply it by uh, the speed. So type speed. No, we don't, because the passing time needs to be multiplied by that. Jeebs! All right, so copy this, paste it here, plus equals, time dot delta time, times. Uh, speed, I don't remember which one it is. Pure speed. Thank Rotation you. speed, no, semicolon, save. save. Okay, so times uh, passing time. Uh, no, this is also wrong. <laughs> uh, mathf dot lerp. Open zero uh, f comma three sixty f. Uh, actually, I'm kind of wondering whether this is gonna make it like a little bit stuck for a very very short amount of time, like a frame. It should be almost imperceptible, so let's let's pretend it's not there. Oh, I've got an idea. Yes, 360f minus yes. time dot delta time. Nice. Time dot delta time. Genius. <laughs> let's see if that works. Uh, <laughs> comma, and here you say passing time. Close. Close again. Save. Okay, and now blah blah blah, and this one needs to then reset itself. So here you're gonna go if passing time higher than zero, mm, yeah zero f close. Passing time equals zero f. What passing? Uh, passing time equals zero. Yes. F. Passing time. Ing time. I just realized what I said is stupid. Is zero F. F. Change this to a one. One. Save. Save. Okay, cut this. Cut. Put it here. Paste. Delete. Save. Save. Bang. Up. No. Change this to minus equals one F. Save. So if this is higher than one, I'm going to reduce it by one so that whatever small amount of float we still have is preserved uh, and therefore it should look more natural. So let's see if this looks okay. Uh, all right. So same thing here. When you start, you have a 500 and here we're going to give it a default value of 63. It's just a test that the car draw drives nicely. Eh? Where are the sirens? Ombre, where'd you put the sirens? Uh oh, eh. I saw them, but they're gone. Mm. Eh? Uh, it's on that part of the car. Uh, uh, have I done something wrong? Euler vector three dot up times the lerp between zero and three sixty. Maybe the genius didn't work. Seems odd though. Save. So passing time goes up. Oh, rotation speed is now so high. No, no, leave the genius. It's the rotation speed is now so high because of the other function that we had that it's not working at all. Uh, it's basically too fast. It's rotating faster than each frame. Whoa. It's rotating more than 360 degrees each frame, I think. Uh, that's my guess. So let's go to the siren one more time and rotation speed change it to five. There. And hopefully it's not too slow. Okay, they're it's going super fast. quite fast. So let's 
Quick. It's like stuttering. The game is stuttering because I... No, they are lighting the wrong thing. So I... I okay, so I've taken red. And look, it's rotating the wrong way. Yeah, I know. Uh, and I think I know why. So let's go to the siren. Pause it for a moment. Now I'm willing to bet you that the siren's model... Okay, it's rotating real weird. And the reason why this is is because the siren itself has a rotation of its own. Uh, so, okay, so let's take the model and I've asked it to rotate around the Y axis. So obviously our friends, so we're not going to be able to observe this, uh, but I think vector three up should be correct, but we also need to add that. So uh, here, go plus vector three dot x. Uh, what am I saying? Vector three dot right dot right times two seventy. It's plus two seventy float. Save. That's because the blender I models. I don't are... think I can save. You can save now. Save. Have you turned it off? Just don't worry about it. Save. You have. Okay. At least it was pass. You won't cause anything. Nothing big. Okay. Oh. All right. Still they are rotating at think. stupid speed, but they are fine. Okay. So rotation speed two. Seems all right. Yeah. What about one? Too slow, definitely faster than that. Three, uh, three is probably too fast. Two, maybe 1.5. No, not fast enough. 1.8, 1.8, like 1.8, 1.8. <laughs> okay, finally, <laughs> we can now test and see if this works. Test, we can test. And so, we better change the debug when we Yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll do it in momentarily. Shall we do it? And the, 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 yeah, the it's rotating starts. correctly. Yep. Which is technically a bit weird because, <laughs> because the card is rotating, so. But, but our thing isn't rotating with the card, it's rotating independently from it. Every now and then there are a few strange jitters, and I think it's got to do with... <laughs> and green has won, right? So there we go. Now we gotta change things. Yeah, so one this one goes to one. minus one. one. Don't forget this one goes to 5,000. Thanks everyone for watching, and we will see you again next time. Goodbye. See ya.